We need to do something really shameful now. Would you like to mention what we need to do? We need to pee. Yeah. It's a good view from here. I'm thinking of becoming a vegetarian. Not because of the health reasons. It's not humanly, you know, to live. You say that while you're eating the chicken. Yeah, look here. Now suck your belly in a little bit. It is really moving a lot. It's going left and right, yes. I think it's waterproof. Yeah, it has two here and here. Oh my god. <laughs> two. It's too late. Your feet are smelling. Sorry, my feet? They are smelling. Despite being born to a civil engineer, I never have been a huge fan of castles or architecture in general. But I must confess, Neuschwanstein Castle, it really did amaze me. It probably is the most beautiful castle in the world. I mean, this is one of the major tourist locations in Germany and tourists from all over the world come here just to enjoy the beauty, the majesty and the fairy tale look of this castle. And you just can't deny it, you know, the moment you go inside the castle on your tour and look around the huge mountains surrounding the castle and you look like you're just in the lap of these mountains. Such a feeling of safety. So safe as if you are in the lap of your mother. No wonder King Ludwig II was crazy about building a castle here. But his madness has very well been justified when you have a look at the scenery surrounding this gorgeous castle. The castle is right in front of the bridge made by his father, King Ludwig I. It is called Mary's Bridge in English or Mariensbrücke in German. This bridge is also one of the best points to behold the castle. Or you can also go around the um, hiking tracks around the castle and enjoy an aerial view of the castle. I've got a master's in project management. The first thing they taught us about project management was that it is always going to cost more money and cost more time than what you have planned. Schloss Neuschwanstein was no exception either. Of course, like every other project in the world, it took longer. Around 18 years to be completed, actually it's still being renovated. The King Ludwig II, fortunately or unfortunately, did get the chance to reside there for six months until he was diagnosed with paranoia by a panel of four psychiatrists without even evaluating the king in detail. A conspiracy, some people say. But if you look at the castle, it really didn't help the king's case. Due to this shock, however, the king fell down in his bedroom and passed away. Soon after his death, the castle was open for tourism. And since then, millions of tourists have visited this castle. And in summer, thousands of tourists visit this castle every day. 
This was a bit about the castle and its history. Now let's get down to the business and tell you about our story. How did we visit this castle? What about the sightseeing? Where did we eat? Where did we stay? And the places we visited. <laughs>